Because you managed to you managed to borrow it from somebody else. I leave it. This is my problem with glasses. It keeps giving me these like oh those. This. Be like me. Don't wear glasses. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Long time no vlog. I'm actually about to go and start getting ready today. My friend Progress is coming back from uni, and her family is organizing like a surprise graduation party she hasn't graduated yet but like yeah she's done with school basically we're just waiting for the graduation so we're throwing her they are throwing her a graduation party and i'm invited and it's a surprise and i've never been part of a surprise before so i'm so excited i just finished eating today is sunday by the way i've washed clothes just finished eating and i'm about to get dressed i'll show you guys what i'm going to wear when i'm done dressing up and just wanted to come and start this vlog i'm so excited you guys have seen progress if you have not seen her that means you're either new to the channel or this is your first video or you haven't watched the videos where she's in in that case i will link the videos right up here and you can just click them and watch them and find out who she is because she's my girl so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done getting dressed you can rest and i'm me too i can rest <laughs> I want to use phone call and finish me. Are you surprised? Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. Like, if it was like on that day, mm -hmm. like I was going to like wear something like to really like. Oh my god, should we match? Should we match on that day? Match. I get the car with the match too. <laughs> Let's go and wear matching outfits for the birthday. Mm -hmm. Last year, I spent my birthday at work. Mm -hmm. I don't spend my birthday at work this year. No spirit to my God. You guys, Ebo asked me if I'm wearing a waist bead on my neck. Does this look like a waist bead? Because now you've made me into. I mean, the material. Like, what I mean, by the material. I mean, I mean the beads, rather. Like, you see a lot, like. Oh, waist bead. Why are you looking like those waist beads in the first place? Uh, what is it? Men. How do you not see them when it's literally there? Would they wear tank and crop okay, tops? Okay, sure, the crop tops. Crop then you put it on there. Uh -huh. See, now you're actually making me feel insecure. But it looks good though. It looks good though. <laughs> Guys, I'm currently waiting for... What, what am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? I don't know what's going on. We're doing an experiment. It's my book. 
to my pencil. How long is it going to take? We don't know because we don't know. Just like waiting until you observe the color change. Yeah, uh, stand there. I think I it's like going to the frame. I will tell them what you learned in buying from artists to do. That's the thing. You don't remember, Abba? It's Abby? basically Linux, Linux operating system. Like setting, it's basically like coding setting for, command, coding for like biologists. Setting command prompts. Hey, we haven't even gone anywhere. It's just like the basics. And um, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't really say it's coding because you're not really doing anything. Yeah, but like it's, it's kind of like coding. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I guess you, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that, but... I'm sure you didn't learn anything. I did, actually. What did you learn? PWD. PWD. <laughs> what does PWD do? It's... Uh, well, I can't, like, I really tell you what the prompt means, but, like... But it means The command, something. but, like, I learned something. So, yeah. Maybe I could give you the shame He did button. a class. Ew, don't, please don't spray anything on me. How would you oh, how would you go to a lab and just spray a random bottle? It's, lit, it's obviously water, man. Obviously, what if what if it was ethanol? So you're dead. I mean, ethanol won't kill you. It won't so. kill you, but like it's not good to just spray stuff. <laughs> this boy is not supposed to be a scientist because he just touches things anyhow. He's never careful. That's how people get cancer. That's how people mm. die. Because they tell you about tedium bromide. Tedium bromide. So we are. I'll see you guys when there's something so Do you know? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be vlogging, but I just know how the energy to vlog. Look at another pimple is forming on my nose again. Can you see it? Mm, you don't touch it. Probably it's, form properly. it's so annoying. I literally just. I'm literally recovering from this one on the side of my nose. It left a black spot. And now I have this one forming on top of my nose. I look so cute. It's crazy how cute I look. You guys, this is my lap coat. And then I'm wearing crocs. Your granny crocs. <laughs> hater. Don't be a hater like you. Nah, man, I can't be fine. It's raining. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain noises, but the time is currently 3.35, 3.36. Not sure which one right now. I'm in the car. Fortunately for me, I brought the car today. My mom let me have the car to come to work. You guys, I feel very emotional. And I I just realized that like I really don't like, I think maybe once or twice since I started YouTube and since I've been making videos publicly, I've never really had like a um what do you call it now an emotional moment or a moment where i'm like talking to you guys about like very let's say deep things but i don't know i just feel very not heavy like because there's a heaviness there's a weight i feel but it's not a weight of like oh heavy oh i'm sad more like this heaviness like oh, the, i think the right word is urgency right i've been feeling this level of urgency and the level of urgency that i feel is one first of all um that jesus is coming and i don't know why like it's weird like not weird but it's weird saying it now out loud knowing that like i'm most likely going to put this out in a video but then just knowing that jesus is coming and knowing the importance of living ready right for his coming so if you're a christian and you're watching this i really do urge you to really walk worthy of the calling that has been placed on you and by calling i mean both your christian call like your call to be a christian your walk and your faith as a believer and also whatever other thing you think or you know that you are meant to be doing with your time on earth and that is also kind of links to my second point and the second point is that like i just feel like i have not been doing anything or rather i have not been doing anything that pertains to my life assignment or my life you know goal on earth and i don't know it has it, it it bothers me from time to time but i feel like recently this year especially this like august this holiday i've just had you know it press on my mind even more 
and i don't even know i don't even know where to start from like i've just been writing like i've just been having the urge i wish i had like a card tripod i think my phone will balance it no 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 it's not gonna balance so yeah i think this was this will this will do i've just been like i've been having the urge to write for some time now and i've not even been able to make time to write but um one of the things that i wrote down just now like just my hands are so. So what I wrote down here was: it is okay to desire to be successful. It is okay to work towards being successful. God is above all, but He is not against your success or your desire to be successful. Your excellence in what you do will bring glory to God's name. Success is okay. Do not be afraid to push against the boundaries that have been installed by fear it is okay so that's like what i wrote down here and i feel like this is like a, a very brief summary of where the state of my mind has been lately i just feel like yes i'm doing things i am i'm doing my internship right now because that is the season of my life that i am in i'm a student and at this point of my student journey i'm meant to be doing my internship and that's good and fine but then it's like in the grand scheme of things what steps what little things am i doing now to prepare me for the kind of person that i want to one day become and who is that person and what does that person do what does what 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 will that person achieve what would that version of olama be and so i wrote down a list of four things that i want to be successful at i don't think i'm going to share them out loud but i just kind of want to encourage you if you're like in a space like me too where you're just kind of wondering what do i want to do in my life and not just what do i want to do in my life you feel like you're wasting time you feel like time is running out one don't put too much pressure on yourself to do things because other people are doing it but at the same time it's also good to have a sense of urgency you know my pastor always says make sense on time like you do not have he always says that you do not have eternity to fulfill destiny you only have time to fulfill destiny we're on earth now and you don't really know when you're going to die by the mercies of god we will live either till jesus comes or till we die and we go but we will live long right if jesus tarries to come and so if we are living long what will that life look like what will be accomplished in that life you don't necessarily need to be a celebrity you don't necessarily need to you know have your names on all the billboards and everybody knows your name but it's like what will you accomplish what will you do whose life like who will from your life draw inspiration who will from your life find meaning for their own lives and so it's just like a lot i think a lot of these things are tied to you know the conference that we had i didn't even vlog any of the days of that conference i didn't vlog any clips but we had a conference earlier um july slash august um it's a retreat conference it's called ignite conference we do it like every year at my church for the youth and i think there's just this passion that has been burning up inside of me and i really do not know what to use it to do even though i have ideas of what i want to use it to do but i just felt like okay let me just talk now and say these things now so i do not forget or feel less inclined to say them later it is okay to want to be successful at something i know the world tries to say oh our, our purpose in life is not to make impact our purpose in life is not to achieve i don't know people say a lot of things nowadays, and to a very large extent it is true but to the same at the same time it's like everybody's life is meant to have some form of meaning or the other some people have it on larger scales either because of personal ambitions or because of something god has called them specifically to do but then at the very 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 like what's the word that i'm looking for but at the very bare level of it all we are all called to make some form of impact no matter the level in any field that we find ourselves in any capacity that we find ourselves in any relationship that we find ourselves in and so yeah i've just i don't know if this makes sense to you i don't know if this makes sense to anybody but if it makes sense to you please do that thing please start working towards that thing start taking all the baby steps that you need to take now because i'm most likely believing that you are young you are probably around my age range and so you are young please use the time that you have now so that when you when life moves forward you won't feel like you didn't have enough time to do the things you wanted to do you won't feel like oh if only i could rewind the time please you do not have eternity to fulfill destiny my dear 
you have time and so with the time that is going with the time that is ticking with every new year that comes about what are you doing with the time and so yeah i don't think i've really had this talk before on my channel i'm just waiting till it's four o'clock so that i can go my school like basically requires us to do like attendances i meant to like I don't even know how to explain it but sure my school kind of like has this thing where we are supposed to like log in and like take attendances and like it records the time and our location and all of that stuff so i'm waiting till it's four o'clock so that i can take a picture of my logbook which i just showed you and then send it in so that it kind of records that oh i went to work today for a certain like duration or amount of hours so yeah i'll see you guys I don't know when next I'll see you guys. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope somebody received a message from what I just said. Jesus loves you. Please give your life to Jesus if you haven't already given your life to Jesus. Because... <sighs> because you should. Keeping strong and I'm doing well. I'm eating more. And my thing that you're fine you need someone and though you've been in your time you need someone to And though